The Canaries are a modern Spanish state that has the same infrastructure as any European city. Modern health facilities and the internet are a given. Yes, there are English-speaking expats living in the Canary Islands. This group of islands are considered a great place to retire, mostly because of the warm weather and inexpensive cost of living. What can I say? This channel is all about budget retirement options. Hi, I'm your hostess here on Budget Retirement Option channel, and today we're going to talk about digital nomads and retirees in the Canary Islands. Now, these popular tourist islands are located just off the north coast of Africa and a ferry ride from Spain. Fuente de Turo is the second largest of the Canary Islands after Tenerife, which is the largest island. When we research the cost of living, we find that the locals on the islands earn around 1,950 US dollars a month. Now, this is not a low salary based on comparison of many other destinations we talk about on this channel. However, the rents do not reflect the higher salaries at this time. This could change once normal international travel returns. Okay, here I am on Airbnb. Let's take a look at our options for the Canary Islands, especially if you are planning on or thinking about retiring on the islands. Now here, I have put into the search on Airbnb for September 2021 to January of 2022. Now that's four months and we know we have a three month window unless we have to go to the immigration office to stay over 90 days in Spain. Now if you look, I put a cap on the monthly price entire place and the cap is a $863 per month. I didn't ask for an instant book. Now on the filters I always put in what I absolutely need and that's a kind of a standard that I use to help you see exactly what's available. I asked for a kitchen and I asked for Wi-Fi and I asked for beachfront. And I see that I have 27 stays on the Canary Islands that fits into this criteria. Okay, as you take a look on the right side of your screen, you will see that there are quite a few stays in the price range that we put into the search. This is the best way to find the affordable and good accommodations for your first couple of months or three month stay. Now, after you get there, then you can take a look at other properties that may be less expensive per month that you can rent for $200, even up to $300 a month, less expensive than what you find on the Airbnb platform. However, many single women we stay with Airbnb because it's safer for us to always rent through a, an American corporation rather than dealing with foreigners for rent and negotiating a rental agreement. Now let's, this first one right here, this is the one I want to show you. Before we look at the images, Let's take a look at the page. This is a modern studio on the beach in the Canary Islands. It's $602 a month, even over the holidays. Now, when you look at the map, you see that it definitely is in, not the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, but it is in the Atlantic Ocean, the Canary Islands. This is over to the right. This is Africa. However, the Canary Islands are a 
Spanish state and they are under Spain's rule. Let's take a look at the images. This is for a studio. I don't often give out the names of the cities to protect the privacy of the owners. If you're really interested, you will go and you will find this. These are the views. The best times to visit the Canary Islands are between March and May and from September to November. Winter and summer bring loads and loads of tourists which make accommodations more expensive and more difficult to find. Departing from Spain, the mainland, there is a map on your screen. This is the pickup point in Spain to the different islands. The cost varies depending on which island you are going to. There are many different combinations of ferry destinations from Spain. You will need to know exactly which island you are going to. Just know that you will be cruising on a large ferry boat. The trip from Cadiz to Canary Islands takes about two nights and a day. Meals are included in the price of your ticket. As you can see from the map on your screen, Cadiz is on the Atlantic Ocean side of Spain, just below Portugal. Even at this starting point, the ferry takes 48 hours to get to Nariz. Now more about stays in Spain for more than 90 days. It is possible and you only need to use the link in the description to learn more. That way you can stay in the Canary Islands for six months rather than three. Or you could move around Spain and, and enjoy other options within the country. See the link in the upper right hand corner.